Hi everyone, this is Ryan and welcome back to God's Sentinels of the Future. In presentation 21, we did a forward version of Danny's answers for the questions some of you may be having. You have heard me speak in reverse throughout other presentations without knowing it myself in almost perfect and understandable context, and this one is no different. The reason I'm talking about this is because some may find Danny's speech in the next reversal quite hard to understand. As I did it, I had to revert back to the way I did my dream transcription receivals. I've mentioned before that the transcriptions and translations are different. When I usually do a transcription, I do not put captions to it and just type what I hear. I also do not hear everything perfectly during the receival and I have to go over the recording a few times to get it right. The transcriptions are much longer and detailed than the translations that I do of the budgies. If I put captions to them, people listening to the recordings would not be able to understand much at all because it is a mixture of budgie vocalizations and human-like speech. In addition, it would take weeks to do some of the lengthy transcriptions and put them to captions. The translations that I do for the budgies are meant for most to hear and witness, allowing others a glimpse of how I connect to the angels. That being said, you should still want to hear the next transcription slant translation reversal of Danny, because there are many clear parts in it that you should be able to hear. I believe it will also help those who listen to focus and open the channel, homing in on the frequency I use to connect to the angels a little better. So some of you still may be a little apprehensive about reverse speech. Not only does it sound spooky, there are many examples on the internet where people have used reverse speech to come up with evil phrases and ideas. I want to make it clear that you do have to be careful and should not do this until you have learned how to focus on the right channel that connects to God's sentinels of the future. You also have to be able to hold that frequency so it does not fade in and out with undesirable effects. Even I struggle with this at times. Crazy as this may sound, I have learned to more or less program my mind not only to focus on the right frequency, but understand the chirps and vocalizations of budgie even when they do not speak English. If I told you that I can speak in reverse and my spirit is communicating not only with you, but with the budgies and God and the angels each time I say something, you may find it hard to believe. However, when you hear me speak in reverse, like I do, there should be no doubt. So saying that I can understand the budgies' chirps and vocalizations is not that much more incredible than me speaking in reverse each time I say something during the recordings. Before I move on to the reverse transcription, it's important to know that even though there are many examples of people speaking in reverse, I do not believe that there is anyone out there that can communicate entirely in reverse as I have demonstrated in the videos and recordings. Forgive me if the reversals sound a little creepy, but many sounds from the spiritual and the quantum world may be hard to listen to at first, but once you get used to them, they become magical as long as you know they come from a godly source. So we're going to continue on with more questions that you might have. Question 1. This question is for God and the angels. Because souls are eternal, you must have been doing this from the beginning of time in some fashion or another. Is your message the same now as it was a thousand years ago, and what would you like to say to current humanity as a whole? Danny's answer. When supporting life, we must give breakfast to help a child survive. We savor children with love and compassion. If you think heaven has forgotten about you, you need to drink from the quantum fountain. Your quenching here shall help you see what's coming any time you know that an angel has spoken. So you will eat in the future, even as you're learning the truth from heaven. So I'm going to play what Danny said now. A few tips before you hear it. Get your headphones on. Focus. Bow your head for about 30 seconds and ask God to let you hear this message. Visualize yourself meeting God in a beautiful river. You are standing there with him, walking in the river, ankle deep, holding his hand as you walk, and he is speaking to you. 
comments. When it comes to spiritual evolution, to God and the angels, humanity is like a child who has to grow up and learn to evolve spiritually so it can join him and the angels in eternity. Otherwise, God would be a very lonely entity. It would be like wanting your own children to grow up having a spiritually happy and healthy life. So what the angels are trying to do here is no different. They tell us about their love and compassion for us and encourage us to evolve spiritually like them, for they have already been through it themselves. Lastly, when we talk about the quantum world, we do not give it credit for the miracles we are experiencing here, because it in itself is a miraculous thing, and its laws were created by God. When we learn and experience the miracles it has to offer, it takes us from just believing to knowing that God and the angels truly do exist, and there is a system in place where they will provide us with the truth that we need to help humanity evolve to the next level. Okay, let's continue on with the next question. My faith in God often dwindles until I need help from him for something that is happening in my life. I think one of the reasons for this is because so many people say that there is no real evidence to prove God exists. If I only need God when I want his help, isn't that kind of using him? And this is uh, Danny's answer. Humanity has a right to have faith in God through every emotion that comes when you really need help. For a religion that helps you survive, having faith is important. When we give help to encourage someone, it's always close to heaven and makes it possible to thrust yourself through eternity. So you may want to stop it here for a few seconds and um, use those tips that I give you to prepare yourself before we go on with the recording. comments. Yes, if we do not have faith in God, then we may fear what the future has in store for us. And when we take actions that are a result of those fears, they can often cause more evil. The angels encourage us to have faith by giving us this proof as a spiritual quenching. They know we are only human and understand that as a species we often falter in our faith and need proof before we can have total belief in something. Now let's move on to the next question. What will the new main philosophy of this new religion be composed of and how will it affect its followers? Danny's answer. How we show compassion will be our philosophy. So you have a choice to try and change the world with this legacy. If you give your time to help the future, many of you will know God. He, God, will bring a way to reject and depart from the falsehoods if there's a danger, they're about to invoke you spiritually with a lot of evil. Thank <laughs> you. 
And my answer. We see it all over the world right now, where humanity seems to be complacent about the future. Global warming, hunger and starvation in many parts of the world, and even genocide in others. Governments are turning away migrants and calling them invaders and putting them in cages with only their basic needs covered. As barbaric as it may sound, they are even separating their children from their parents. There seems to be a trend towards having less compassion for those in need and very little compassion for our children who would inherit a world we have left for them. We see secret organizations at high levels hiding the truth about the climate and rejecting the idea that we need to make major changes in our culture before it's too late. This lack of compassion for the future is spreading and going in the opposite direction than it should be, and this is the type of evil that affects our spiritual evolution. Face it, folks, if we keep on going in the direction we are now, humanity could become extinct soon and there will not be people left to evolve to the next level of human evolution. Perhaps after this life we may need to be reborn again so we can use the next lifetime to get the spiritual evolution we need. If that is so, how will we return to a place that is not capable of supporting human life? We know that every major change that humanity makes has to start somewhere, and when you have the support of God and the angels, this change will surely become reality much quicker than we think. So each and every one of us has the opportunity to become part of this incredible journey that the angels believe will be the next step in human evolution. So let's move on with the next question. Why does God and the angels feel that this form that Ryan created will be able to help change the world as there are many people out there trying to do the same thing? Danny's answer. The future requests your help on a mission for the earth. And this fountain spiritually flows from heaven and has a reason to assert a magical quantum form. And heaven invokes this vision so we can begin a new life here. comments. There are many religious forms and many others whose main focus is spirituality. Some have become very popular over the years with thousands of people. Some are great assets to God and some are just places to go to create doubt and criticize other religions. Many of the forms based on spirituality are mainly focusing on promoting each person's personal views or beliefs and used as an opportunity to make money. Although we may at some point do a fundraising campaign in the future, our forum will not request money from anyone, nor will it promote anyone's individual beliefs. People that come here will come to learn and experience the miracle. After they become part of it, they can provide assistance to others who understand they need to know the truth and understand that a majority of their belief systems have been structured by the culture that they were brought up in. Moving on to the next question. I spent a lot of time on the Angel Scrolls website and have much interest in the dream transcriptions. What role do they play in this religion? Danny's answer. Each human that comes shall dream and approach their life with prophecy in a religion with great results. Actually, it's driven by God as we move on through this journey. It helps people to seriously review everything we've spoken in lessons.
Yes, there are many dreams that I've transcribed with the help of the angels. And perhaps once we begin to have more people, I may do some more dream transcriptions. Almost 10 years ago, when we opened this forum, we were told that those who got involved will begin to have dreams and visions. Within days it happened. Even Linda, who had never dreamt before, began having lucid dreams that became a big part of this religion in the early stages. Many of the visionaries who were part of it had wonderful dreams with prophecy that invoked incredible lessons from God and the angels. In addition, many of the dreams and the transcriptions were confirmed through later news events shortly after they were transcribed. So even though many people experienced much of it themselves, there was still some doubt about what I was transcribing. However, the new translations and reversals of the budgies are confirming much of what we were taught through these dream transcriptions now. So now others can actually hear it for themselves. In a way, there are multiple ways of confirming that the information we are receiving comes from God and the angels. Lastly, God and the angels promise to answer many of the questions through your dreams and all you have to do is ask. Many will receive a dream with prophecy, and if you go to the website and do a search for some of the symbols that were in your dream, you may get the answer you were looking for. You also have to realize that this is another miraculous way that God and the angels can communicate with you personally, and that they do listen and will find a way to reach you. So let's move on to the next question. I was a visionary from one of the first groups and in the beginning it seemed that Ryan was very confused about what was happening. There was someone who began to do their own transcriptions of the budgies and Ryan told them they could not do it and I think that was unfair. Also some of the things that Ryan transcribed did not happen as they were predicted. My question is, how can we believe that Ryan is still not confused and that these new transcriptions are more accurate than they were in the beginning? Danny's answer. You'll have no doubt that Ryan must have a reason to transcribe this miracle, even when his confusion raised challenges in him. He is a spiritual, decent person who will reach out and have respect for you. Help him, and Ryan will give most of you some help as well. My comments. It took me many years to figure out what was going on. First it began with the budgies communicating in full-blown speech. There were many animal intelligence enthusiasts who were only interested in that aspect of it. And when I realized the angels were communicating as well, some did not agree with me. Another change came when the dreams and visions began. Again, it took me a while to see the direction that they were taking us and I needed to fully understand the entire process that was being taught. At times, I would be spending 10 or 12 hours a day doing dream transcriptions of people who were sending their dreams and budgie recordings to me, only to find out later that these same people were talking about me behind my back. So I more or less dropped what I was doing for several years and focused on the private lessons I was receiving. In some instances, I would have to correct visionaries when they made certain comments. And there were even some dream transcriptions where the angels gave them admonishment for things that they said as well. This only confused me more because I was losing friends. Linda and I were having our own questions and had many dreams that needed to be transcribed. The personal dreams and receivables that I did over the next five years or so helped me to have a much better understanding of what was happening. In addition, I did not have to worry about monitoring the forum as much and being judged for some of the things that I had to pass on to those who were not satisfied with the direction that we were going.
So let's move on to the next question. We have heard the angels say that Ryan is connected to the bloodline of the prophets. Why did you need someone who was in this bloodline? Danny's answer. This miracle is something that God chose through his ancestry. The original ancestry of Ryan was bound to the religion we have in heaven. We know he savors time with the angels. Most of the angels have helped Jesus provide all the miracles for Christians in their time of troubles and tribulation. We realize that Ryan is not certainly perfect. My comments. When I went through the indoctrination as a visionary of this religion, the angels gave me the pseudonym Adam Cadman. One of the reasons was that my grandfather on my mother's side was a Hungarian Jew who migrated to Canada in the early 1900s and his last name was Cadman. The angels also told me to do a search for Adam Cadman and it came up with some very interesting results. So this is what it said in uh, Wikipedia. Nonetheless, uh, I can't even pronounce half of it, so I was pretty surprised when I heard it. But it says, Adam Cadman, primordial man, also called Adam Elyon, um, is the first spiritual world that came into being after the contradiction of God's infinite light. Adam Cadman is not the same as the physical Adam Harishon. In Lurianic Kabbalah, the description of Adam Cadman is anthropomorphic. Nonetheless, Adam Cadman is divine light without vessels, i.e. pure potential. In human sight, Adam Cadman corresponds to the Yeshida, the collective essence of the soul. Since I've heard this several times from the angels, I ordered a DNA test, as I'd like to know where exactly my roots come from. They have said that the test will take six to eight weeks to get the results, which I will share with you in its entirety when it comes. If I can show you the actual paperwork that comes with the results, I will. Now let's move on to the next question. Does God look at the problems in the world today and try to prevent them from happening? And this is Danny's answer. Now the news begins with a miracle. To bring changes in every region, there's confusion. The main endorsement of this religion will protect the world from fear of destruction. Final predictions will come quickly, so try to reach Ryan. Your trust in him is your choice. You're free to join heaven for a future religion that will counter the inherent corruption that enforces evil. Many are used to seeing it right now. comments. The main reason for all the wars and corruption today in the world is a result of the confusion of humanity when it comes to who and what to believe. 
When the angels said, you're seeing it right now, I believe they're talking about the recent mass shootings in August of 2019, which were fueled by racism and other forms of evil, including politics. The next question. I have a little bit of a problem understanding how Ryan can talk fluently in reverse, similar to the budgies. I also feel that there's much I have to explain about the reasons I am here. But one thing I'd like to know is if God and the angels are speaking through him as well. And this is Danny's answer. So if you hear Ryan reiterate the progress we have, combined with light forces, God is present, surely revealing a spiritual weapon against evil. comments. I believe the budgies open the channel which allows us to connect to the frequency of God and the angels. I also have to be in a good frame of mind to receive it as well and if I'm experiencing certain emotions in life that are not positive at the time of the receival I can have trouble with them. By now I've pretty well learned when I should and should not be doing a receival or transcription. The next question. When Ryan comments in the presentations, we know he's giving his own ideas and not necessarily what God and the angels are saying. If what he says can affect the future of this religion, what if he assumes something that is different than what you're teaching us or puts in some of his own ideas? Danny's answer. There is no pressure to explain yourself. We will give you miracles as Ryan is following the house of angels. We will treasure some of his philosophies as he's coming close to ours. We encourage Earth to listen to what he has to say. We feel the people who are currently following shall report what they have learned from him. comments. We are just in the early stages of learning the things that God and the angels want us to know, so there are many things that have not been taught yet. My comments in these presentations are given to help explain what the angels are passing on through my experiences over the years in receival with them. There may be times when I say something that has to be verified or corrected by the angels later, but I usually won't speculate about something until I've heard at least a few times from them. You can be assured that when I comment, I will try to give you my most honest and knowledgeable response in conjunction with what I've been taught in the past. I'm not going to set up a question for the final part of this recording because it's just me talking. If you remember in the forward part of this recording, I was talking to Simon as I put the microphone down. This part is what I said at that time. I'm going to replay what I said in forward mode and then give you the reverse which Linda and I found to be extremely clear, almost as clear as speaking in forward speech. So if you had trouble understanding much of what Danny said in this reverse, you should be able to hear me quite well. I believe that much of what people cannot hear in this one will be confirmed through other recordings and clear speech from Danny as well. So this is what I said. Yes. I know we've forgotten just to listen. If you try here real hard, you're able to know the new evolution of humanity.
talk just a little bit while Linda's on the computer. Here, I'll put it right down here. So you can talk if you want there, okay? So this one is finished, and if you picked up even 25% of what Danny was saying, I'd be happy because I know you're trying hard. I'm going to do both the forward and reverse short versions next, so you'll be able to go through it again and hopefully understand more each time you do. So bye for now, and I hope to hear and see from you soon. This completes this presentation. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to join us, you can come to theangelscrolls.com and click on to the forum link at the top, where we will be adding the newest presentations.